hang on there, but you, you sort of wonder, you know, how the hell does it get to that sort of ridiculous amount of a difference? It, it's pretty wild. wild and, yeah, we've got potential to see things like that come close here. We don't have the aura, but we do have the boat. So there's a, a lot of things to delay and, and reduce the damage. And we'll see how hard that does make it for Gaming Gladiators to make some of the moves that they are again going to want to do. But they're, you know, there's sort of two playmakers here, the, the Storm the and the Pangolier. From? One thing I'm worried about is having Io plus Vengeful Spirit. Like these two heroes, if they're shut down, it's very hard to make like some kind of a place. You do have a storm, you do have Pango, so like your two supports are not, uh, you know, gonna be the one initiating into a fight. Uh, sometimes it is a struggle. OG decided to swap things a little bit more. They will have Kunkka plus Lich on the side lane, and we'll have Templar Assassin on the mid lane. Pangolier, he's not a strong laner. He does get shut down on the off lane uh, quite a bit, uh, like we've seen in Boom. Uh, not the player Boom, but the team Boom. They do love to pick up the hero. First phase, and they do play it on the off lane. Uh, he does struggle, but he does deliver a bit later on. All right, top lane. I guess sort of a, a similar dynamic, really, to what we had last time round. And Mars going to be on this hero that will be very hard for gaming gladiators to really go up on. And the Tiger, yeah, we'll still have to be careful against being run down by a stun and a few clicks from the Wraith King. For the most part, should be able to play to the edge of the lane and continue to poke at Duracho, try and slow down his farm. A bit of a different game, I would say. Uh, and I don't think Duracho is going to be pressured too much. Like, the kill threat is there, having a Dragon Tail plus the Bushwhack, a lot of time disabled. Taiga misses a Bushwhack. Very interesting, like he was just sitting on top of the tree, almost didn't move. Maybe he thought the Celery will move, but Taiga was on point. On Hoodwink previous game, very active early on. I don't think he missed a single Sharpshooter. They did have enough lockdown for it, but still uh, felt really good to have Hoodwink. Like, Hoodwink College, uh, very... Two supports that are very easily killed, but they do provide you with a ton of damage. And we can see what I talked about. This Pangolier does struggling a little bit. And if this Death Thorn hits Ace, he's probably dead. Toku's uh, gonna die. So, tough lane. A lot of kill threat here. We haven't seen too much of a safe lane Kunkka recently. But I, I think going for build like uh, armor to the boots of travel allows you to play extremely fast face on top of the net worth. I'm a big fan of it. And then get a BKB later on. They don't have like the least to go through magic communities here are going to be really fine. Well, we've seen top plan, as you say, trying to poke into Duracho, but doesn't care too much at all about it. Over in the mid lane, boom. Slight lead at the moment against BZM. As expected, Storm Spirit uh, deals decently against Templar Assassin, burns two refraction charges whenever he has slowed attack on. Wait, one more. Just on the and they do the same thing. They cut down all, all of these trees to reduce how much trip we can't do the same thing that he did in the game. Number one, but the trees throw every three minutes. Uh, before it was either five or six, so that's a bit of a nerf to uh, like could be three and effector type heroes. They just love it as well to a certain extent. Bottom, Pango, decent amount of CS. I thought he's gonna have less. Yeah, we only Casualty down here at the moment being that of Tofu. Ace has been able to keep it safe. Me should be able to get the, the pull off here, but Yuragi, whilst he's been left in lane, will take quite a beating here from Tofu and Ace. It'll be fine though, Misha does still have a salve to pass over. And now he has Helm of Iron Will, so the regeneration and extra armor. It's gonna be great. Misha a bit low on mana. They spam a lot. He's gonna get taken down there, BZM. With the help of Tiger, he'll be able to force Boom out the lane. Despite the best efforts from Celery trying to come in and, and keep him healed up, can't save him. Love the tips. He tips him first, like a good rotation, bro. Yeah, then he thinks, you know, because Hoodwink does struggle against these spirit heroes. Hoodwink has a hero who just, you know, dies a lot of the times because uh, uh, it's his arch nemesis, pretty much. Bottom lane, Torrent 
misses, I believe. A Tidebringer. Still a lot of harassment. Like, we can oh, see them back. playing aggressive, but the problem in this lane is, like, you need to bring a lot of region. Oh, look who's in. Pushback. Tiger, he's making the moves already this game pretty quickly. Setting up kills in the mid, setting up kills in the bottom. Tiger's getting active. And they understand the top lane. It's pretty similar to when Amar plays a Timbersaw. Taiga does move early on. And th there's just not enough kill. Like skeletons, they don't deal enough damage. You have Breathe Fire, you have two points into Dragon Blood. Io doesn't provide you with the damage, so there's no kill threat, which allows Taiga to move around the map freely. And now he's efficiency from OG. Like they, mid laner stacks the camp for himself. Taiga stacks the camp for himself. Also getting some XP on a mid lane while BZM is farming the small camp. I can show to leave nothing out these early lanes. See back in the mid, boom. He'll be hitting six off these creeps. So a lot harder to make moves upon. Yeah. And on the bottom lane, we see this discrepancy between yes. off laner and the safe lane. Like, they are really afraid. Kunkka just hit level 5, so Tidebringer is a 7 second cooldown ability. Every single time Pango gets close, he gets harassed. So they need to bring extra. I think one way to play this lane, I might be wrong, but from what I've seen when uh, Boom plays it, they do go for Vanguard first item. Just like straight up Ring of Health to have that sustain in the lane. Maybe that would have been a better approach. Because right now, like, Pango can't get close. Pango's just straight up dead. Especially when Kunkal hits level 6. So Lich needs to stay away a little bit from the XP. Vengeful Spirit also trying to make a rotation. Not the best hero to rotate with. Uh, a bit sluggish. See the tree on the mid lane. Five heroes mid. Pretty standard stuff, five or six minutes into the game. Oh, boom. Oh, he's gonna try and go for Tiger. EP is coming in though, and boom, he's been caught by the bushwhack. Boom, he's gotta get out. Aggressive moves there. It's just a bit of a poke trying to force out some reactions from OG. And uh, they will be successful. Yeah, OG get a couple of TPs coming in in response. Maybe if Misha had one point in center stage, Gaze just to pull him and uh, get some of his mana out, uh, that would have been a kill and it would be pretty big. And on the bottom lane we see AC is really struggling. It's all about collecting that XP pretty much. If you look at the CS chart, Raven has 34 and then the second hero below him has 4 CS. <laughs> There's no in-between. There isn't, yeah. Like, the, the, the support the bottom. is not hitting the creeps. So, Fu, he's going to be fine here. Tiger, not able to find anything to, to catch him with the bushwhack against. See Celery and Boom head over him. Ready to clear these stacks up. Some nice juicy stacks here for the Storm Spirit. And that will, you know, for now, keep Boom just a little bit ahead of BZM's farm. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Boom is getting a lot from these stacks. OG is also a team that loves to invade enemy stacks, so, you know, there's there was a possibility. You know, these Ogre Bruisers, they, they're tough to kill, you know, they surprise with that long duration stun and uh, you could possibly die. Yeah, bottom lane for now has been sort of left completely ace. He's, he's looked over towards the mid to try and get some farm. Doesn't want to have to deal with turning up against Yuragi. He has managed to get a 6 in the mid lane. If they want to kill Yuragi, they need to bring Storm Spirit Vengeance Blood Bane earlier to be able to lock him down. But the mid lane, this is aggressive! I mean, that was... I mean, I get aggressive, probably putting it light. He just went for it! I mean, they... He went for it! I mean, I guess he completely underestimated Tiger being able to lock him down with a bushwhack from the trees. I mean, they, they've, they've tried that move once before. OG was prepared. They didn't get anything. They try it again. Now OG's even more prepared, and they get both of the kills. Torrent misses. Like, that was a tough kill to get. There was a little bit of disarm, which is uh, only 2.5 seconds. So not the greatest. Oh, he's back, in back here, but he gets caught by the push mark again. They've got the Sinister Gaze, they've got the damage. They've got an X marks trampling back, but he has the bull lightning. Oh my god, <laughs> he nearly gets taken down close. a second time. I mean, Tiger, Tiger's got Boom's number this game. 
<laughs> that was close. They also managed to bring down the tower. Um, Rolling Thunder was used. They got nothing out of it. Uh, so I, I think Pango's going to struggle. Like off to a really bad start. Uh, we're going to might see the same issues again where Dragonite, we'll all the three start. cores. I mean, w w was this ever going to work, the cost? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think so. Uh, if TA had refraction back up on, it's just difficult. And is it, because for gaming gladiators from their perspective, why do you feel that they feel the need to, to really try and force those sort of aggressive plays? Like, get Boom just... into the game, like yeah. he uses his mana pool. He has 900 mana pool. Oh, now they're good. No, right. Tiger, he's just having fun with them. He really is having a good one here, Tiger. So yeah, maybe they thought, you know, Storm Threat, we need to use him. Io will play with the Storm Threat, like we need to get stuff done. Get at least one kill on the board, because right now, seeing that zero is kind of demoralizing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely going to feel a bit slow of a start every game in Gladiators, and it's definitely felt as well in the gold that's building up. It's already a you know, 3k lead here, 10 minutes in. OG with quite a comfortable edge coming out of these lanes. Did you see a game lately where one team didn't have a kill? That, that doesn't happen, right? Like, they always have. I feel like we've had a kill. game that came close to that, but yeah, I, I don't think we've had a game in a long time that's ended up with zero kills. There's there a lot of those games. There's always one. There's always one. It's like 22 and 3. Yeah. People love to see it. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just like, there's always a kill on the board. Baraccio is uh, farming okay-ish, nothing too spectacular, has Armlet done, going into phase boots next, and that's a pretty standard build. One Wraith King, Amar just picked up his item, that is a full blink dagger, so they will have one way to initiate a fight. Lich is level 6, and we got it in. Oh, Misha, very, very quick player with response. He does still die. See if we could get more out of this. Gonna look over towards Amar. Tiger has got the ult going, turns over towards the Io. As BZM will be able to run him down, finish with the kill on Celery. Still going up for Amar, they do get him. But BZM, jumping with the flow, boom, low on the mana, Tiger. He's got the stun on Duraccio. I bet from Celery. He still wants to go, but Duraccio leads him with a red fire last boom. He's going to pass the tier one. Here's the aggression that Gaming Gladiators were trying to execute in the mid. This time round, it pays off on top lane. As boom, he gets the kills that he was looking for. Radiant's top tower is under oh, attack. Good combination, bottom. They didn't allow him to use the roll. Let's see, one more hit. Oh, the trick. tower is under attack. Boom. Coming here. He's on a roll now. Boom's found that momentum that he was hunting for in the mid. When the moves up top, comes down bottom. He's starting to get those kills and he's getting away with this aggression now. He's hit this sort of sweet spot where him and Io can be very consistent with these moves with that constant mana that he's getting. That's what they needed. Kunka, like, he beat five seconds before the fight started, so he was not able to join. And this time around, he didn't go for the boots of travel build on safe lane Kunka, did go for the phase boots. I think uh, he was thinking about, you know, we, I need more armor. I'm playing in the Pangos minus armor, Vengeful Spirit, and also right clicks from Raid King, so just having an extra early armor is gonna help me out, but uh, he can't be as active. Let's see, Boom, can he dodge this one? Oh, he might not. He's not gonna be able to. They, they, they catch him. I mean, still, for all the booms, the, the moves the Boom was starting to make, he sticks around in the jungle a little too long. And then they've got the catch. Also going for a different item build this time around, Witchblade on Stormfrit, not your Standard Tiger's item build, but good against attack. refraction on Templar Assassin, and it gives him a little bit more momentum. I would say, just overtime damage works nicely. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Tofu, he knows what this game is about. Try to get that Aghanim Scepter not invested. That means like you're. You as a position four don't have much to offer in these fights because you're going for a very greedy build. Definitely looking out to find the Philosopher's Stone. It does help quite a lot. I'll see OG. I want to try and push for the tier one. The Mar will have the, the old back up in a second. Tofu is coming in with the swap, making sure that Ace is at no risk of the Mar being able to turn back in. Follow up that bushwhack with a dragon tail. Big timing for OG is going to be BKB 
on Kunkka and also Beso on Temporary Assassin. Then way they can threaten Roshan. For now, go playing pretty much the farm game. Uh, Dragon Knight will have Blink plus the Shard exactly 15 minutes in. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I'll be able to take this down, not even having to commit the ult here. They're getting the space. Easy tower for OG. They can continue to be able to hold on to all three of theirs right now. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. What a fun is different game of gladiators. They're grouped up around the mid lane. Which play complete and going in for higher stands next. Might need to swap things around. If he dies one time, he's probably gonna go for BKB. Yeah. He's just not gonna feel safe coming into these fights. It, it really depends. Like your item build changes as the game progresses. Like you get a kill, you get the ball rolling, you get uh, I don't know Aegis. It, it changes things quite a lot. This is a big kill because Teller is gonna be dead for a while. He got back in the previous fight, 55 seconds. Uh, that is a long time and up top. Of Second support, life lost here on Gaming Gladiators of Tofu. I think, I think they have enough damage to go Roche, because there is a Desto on Templar Assassin, and without Ayo, I'm not sure if they have enough. He wants to try and get a kill. He's gonna go for Tiger, and he won't get him. He's just got the back of a base. So maybe even have the chance to look for Amara as well. OG's trying to get over to help out. Boom, he's got on the mana. For the disarm, it is there from Ace. Boom, it's level one. He's gonna keep running and busy up with the damage. This Desto is bringing Boom down. Boom will fall. Dracho is looking towards Misha, but Misha's going to be able to step out of this one. BZM, who's, he, who's going to look towards next? He's, he's got his eyes on Ace. We'll have a swatch buckle in a, in a moment. Dracho's trying to chase down Misha. Link forward, but the oh, time is there again. This is going to be very difficult to, to deal with. Once you get level 20 on Templar Assassin, it's going to be their melt to dispels. Templar Assassin as here just uh, gets levels uh, too quickly. OG, they lose Dragonite, they lose Lich, but once again, they kill Boom. Boom, four deaths, 16 minutes in. Very uncharacteristic, I would say. Let's see what he can set up there. They're gonna have to take him down twice. Let's see if they can do that. Good on, they're toggling. is gonna protect that first life for... for uh, yeah, he's gonna be able to get a He's gonna have to relocate his boots. He's on line. He's gonna taken out. Boom, committing heavily to try and burn through your argument. Your argument has got the BKB. As your is fine, both Boom and Celery dying off the back of that relocate attempt. I mean, they came in to try and make a move, honestly, with the armor toggling of Duracho. I think Duracho was fine. He was going to be able to walk away. But Gaming Gladiators, they make the call to try and get a fight out of that, and it ends terribly for them. They lose two more heroes, and they get nothing. I think Boom wants to do a bit uh, too much. He's in a spot where it feels like he needs to get back into the game, but overextends. They also need Pango. Like, they need to be able to bring uh, one extra hero to these fights, because they're playing from behind. Again, like the heroes are very hard to kill. It was a good armor toggle from Duraccio, yep. not losing his reincarnation. I believe that's a full Desto coming out to him. So yeah, we'll see the Rosh attempt from OG. See Ace coming with the Rolling Thunder, but it is at the beginning of the Rosh attempt. That's the big team fight, OG. Yeah, it's gone now. So if anything, OG's gonna feel a bit more confident on sticking around. Astrancho. Gonna step forward. But she will jump back over him. And they'll pretty quickly get through that first line for the raid kick. Both is available. The Dracho. See where he looks to make moves for. He has got Tofu ready to swap him out if he's in trouble. Ace has been spotted hiding behind the trees. They'll be able to catch him with the X Mark Tower combo. As Ace got jump up to the high ground and Mars immediately on top of Tofu. That's Roche. That, that's free Roche for them. Without Bango, without the Vengeful Purge. Oh, they don't have enough. They need to get Duraccio. He just lays down a fireball and Duraccio burns. <laughs> I've never seen I'm Amar happier. He's always in the mood, in the zone, and uh, also a lot of light this time around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those early games. I mean, honestly, you forget just sort of how incredible the rate, the cast range is on Fireball. <laughs> it just lays it down across the screen and uh, an easy kill. And that's that's Roshan, Aegis into the hands of BZM. Honestly, this this game, it, it's looking to get close to how difficult of a position Gaming Gladiators found themselves rather soon in game one.
Also, a bit of a different itemization on Templar Assassin. Uh, a lot of them get the Dragon Lens, but this early blink purchase did allow him to jump on the Storm Spirit. It, uh, just close the gap, uh, play a bit more aggressive. If you didn't have that, I feel like Boom would have two, maybe even three deaths less. Now a very tough time here for Gladiators, trying to do something against OG whilst Aegis is in the hands of BZM. And whilst they don't quite have those BKBs, uh, BKB is not going to have much success in a team fight. When the BKBs are up, Gaming Gladiators, they have a really tough time. For the kills, we've got a three blade. Uh -huh. Tango just doesn't I mean, have enough to protect They're, himself. BZM was pushing the tower on his own. Back in action here. Do you think he'll go for a second round? He's going to have to back up. Great turn on the bike. Oh, the three of them. Oh, my goodness. OG, they land the combo. That's two of them gone stellar. He'll take one of them out, but he's going to get dragged back by the X mark. He'll also die. Oh, what a beautiful execution, top tier. It looks like it's gonna be a disaster, you know. They're gonna kill him one more time, but the torrent into bushwhack and both on three people. Uh, I, I think I've seen like only similar performances from Socks as Hoodwink. Tiger, yeah, really on point with the hero right now. No, he's he's having a beautiful one. He's having a great series this game. Yeah, four one and eleven. Yeah, the, the, the bushwhacks just catching them completely by surprise every single time. Now, next fight, BZM. He's going to have the BKB. 20 to 8. 9k lead. OG looking oh, on absolute fire today here in this series so far. What are these bushwhacks? Man? It's just like... I mean, always catch them on the edge. You know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. He knows exactly like where to reach for them and on the edge of the AOE of the, the net landing. The Tiger's got the, the catch down perfectly. Oh, there we go, an attempt to the mid. So they can keep this TA locked down. There's going to be a bone coming, give it protection, and BTS is going to be fine. In fact, he doesn't take any damage at all. And he's ready to fight. That's the first fight for Duracho. Take it away. They'll look to run him down. Tiger with a push right, holding back Tofu. As Ace will try and jump back in with the force book of the mark. He's got his own ready with it. Goes in over towards Ace. Ace is going to go down. BZM has the damage. So will Tofu. Four dead on gaming gladiators. It's been a rough series, a series here for the gladiators, Lacoste. They've had, they've had some great games, some great showings, but today, I mean, OG, they're, they're just completely outclassing them. Yeah, it seems like they were well prepared for this one. Celery, bottom lane. Yeah, he looks pretty dead. No boots of speed. Uh, not much movement speed. Oh, and he'll find him. He will indeed accelerate. Just a casual chain frost on top of Io. Why not? Doesn't even bounce the Misha did pick up uh, his shard. He really loves the shard. We can call him Me Shard when he when he's playing that lit. Yeah, I think this game feels uh, yeah. really over. 13 minutes, uh, 13 K goals lead 21 minutes into the game. It's yeah. just like, doesn't feel that they have enough. Like, they once again don't have what it takes to deal with the three cores, the three BKB timings. Now Crystalis out for BZM for the next fight, so he's gonna have even more damage. Our observer's big fan of Jin Q. I just don't know how is this in, in the game. Like having people face it <laughs> in official matches, you know, it's like, oh, here's a random face. Oh. What's the cooldown on it? I think it's pretty it's pretty long. I'm gonna say it's like bend. 40 seconds or something. 40 seconds only. I think I think you're right. I don't know. <laughs> Your Admiral is on yeah, look at this. The mid lane. Sorry, observe if we can catch this. This is fine. The classic meme where Ledge we and go. Hoodwink are standing right now. If we can move the camera, it's gonna expire. Mid lane, a bit down, down, Radiant's down, down. Yeah, there we go. This is fine. While everything is on fire, this is how gaming gladiators pretty much feel right now. I think it is, yeah. They get a kill. I mean, she probably doesn't doesn't mind too much. It's just the supports. We did see in the last game, it got to the point where Gaming Gladiators, they could kill the supports. They couldn't get those cores. Seems Let's see. Tier 1 tower is still available. Misha doesn't have a buyback, needs 50 gold. But he's out in 10 seconds anyway. Here we go. Nice. 
and lead things in. Big rolling thunder straight down the main punch for the out. Again, it's a three-man tournament. Oh, okay. Huge combos, one small from OG, leaving Gemi Black in its no chance. Oh, in these team fights, they may have been the ones to start it, but OG, they're certainly going to be the ones to finish it here. As everybody's taken down. We, we might yeah, see the cheese drop soon, the cost. The cheese drop, uh, exactly, like this is the second time they go in I, I mean they need to be on top of the heroes like they need to be able to be, like storm he wants to jump on top of someone same that was for pango and Raid king so there's a reason why these torrents and both hit the multiple people they will go for a finish like the, i'm not sure if they can like finish the game straight off i think they might be i give it letters they do have one more fight okay let's have a look let's have a look let's see what they've got in them uh, yeah, OG, I mean, yeah, yeah. You, you, th you thought they won the first game fast. They're on track to, to doing this second one even quicker at the moment. Now we can see Good item build. A couple of those shadow amulets ready to go. Now, what happened to those mantles? Is it, was that sort of it's not fate? cool anymore. No, oh, cool anymore. He was doing yeah. it, it, it. People started to copy it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he just doesn't like it anymore. But a lot of people do this in pubs. The shadow amulet. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think Chappie was the pioneer of it. Yeah. I mean, nobody's seen Chappie for a while. Yeah, because he he That's bought so many. It's a powerful oh, item. Oh, 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 oh. Raking does have a blink dagger, so he's going to be able to close the gap, but uh, can he blink out? No, it's oh. not ready yet. And he's going to be in trouble in there, Archer. They're coming in the buyback. They're going to do everything to try to save this Raking if they want to have a chance in getting gladiators. Dredger will be blocked to the side. The fireball and the breathe ball there take him out. And this will be the last moment here for gaming gladiators. They're crumbling yet again. OG completely overrunning them. Amar diving up towards the tier fours, ready to chase Ace down. And there it is. GG here, 25 minutes in. OG on absolute fire today. This series, they made it look like a walk in the park. And I think a lot of it was down to just a great approach, right? This sort of strategy with the draft, damage reduction. It just, it must be so frustrating to play against because it